Hello there, Pierre Repair here. This is a repair video. You may remember this RAV4. This is that RAV4 I did a video on for catalyst efficiency below threshold. Today it's here for me to replace the catalytic converter. I hope I did a good diagnostic on it. So we're going to replace this catalytic converter. We have you know you have the catalytic converter, that's when you have a, an oxygen sensor that's placed before it and also an oxygen sensor that's placed after it. Well, this one I have a hole for the oxygen sensor, the pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensor and post-catalytic converter oxygen sensor is in the exhaust stream. So inside of it, you're going to see some kind of like honey, um, honeycomb stuff. Um, so that's how that's that's where the precious metals are um platinum rhodium and palladium so we have three precious metal and the catalytic converter so on this one i'm going to replace it in this toyota rav4 all right right now i'm gonna take this cover off okay. it's got um four 13 millimeter bolts just like the shield for the exhaust let's take this guy out now I'm going to remove the exhaust nuts, it's got five of them, I'm going to remove these guys and then it's like they're not that hard. So the oxygen sensor is down here, I'm going to disconnect the oxygen sensor and then there are two bolts that hold the exhaust together at the bottom and remove these bolts as well. Okay, now these two bolts are left to remove. They're 14 millimeter bolts after these bolts are out. This, um, that should release the exhaust manifold. I got these exhaust nuts out all five of them and the two bolts at the bottom are already out now I disconnected the oxygen sensor it's, it's only one oxygen sensor that's connected to this exhaust and um, the other one is downstream so I can pull this guy out of its position and this is our cat that's our guy this looks good inside of there I don't know if you guys can see it this this cat looks good. It looks pretty neat. And, um, we'll replace it and we're gonna see, gonna look at the diagnostic data again. Okay, now I gotta remove the O2 sensor. I'm gonna reuse this O2 sensor. It's, it's, it's a good one. And this metal gasket, I'm also gonna reuse it. I'm just I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna clean all the surfaces. I'm gonna clean the surface on the cylinder head. Clean this gasket here. And also reuse this O2 sensor because I don't think it's bad. Wow. If I can remove it. <laughs> Woo. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's try this. Let's try this smaller one. Maybe it's stronger. I believe this O2 sensor is okay. I'm gonna reuse it. I'm gonna apply some anti-seize on the threads and then get everything back together. Okay, I did some good cleaning. I'm reusing this metal gasket. It's a metal gasket, it's not gonna leak anything. In fact, I reused the gasket here and the gasket at the bottom. So, uh, you know, we're on a budget, you know? So we'll, well, let's make this happen. And um, I apply some anti-seize on the on the O2 sensor that I put in there, then and the, on this catalytic converter. So I already applied some anti-seize on it. So let's slap this guy in. Hope it fits. <laughs> okay. All right. This 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 is in. So. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together, put these nuts in, and then the two 
big bolts at the bottom, connect the oxygen sensor, then we're going to analyze some data. We'll see if we fix this thing or not. Stay tuned. As you can see, I have no check engine light on. I only have the tire monitoring system. I probably have a, a low tire on this. I'm gonna focus more on back one sensor too. You don't need to see a lot of activities from it. So when I'm accelerating, I'm trying to create a, a quick, rich, um, a, a quick, rich mixture of the air fuel ratio. And you can see that I'm staying below 0.5 volt. It's telling me the catalytic converter is doing its job. I don't need to see zero from zero to eight volt or zero to close to one volt. That's telling me that um, a lot of hydrocarbon is making it past the catalytic converter and this means that it's not really doing its job. So I'm accelerating right now. It's staying above, I mean below 0 0.5. I'm, I'm reaching 0 0.8 right now. So let's see if that's going to go down. So I'm still um, quickly accelerating and then release the throttle. So I'm creating a rich condition right now and take a look at the lambda. The lambda is still at stoichiometric. It's it's close to one. And look at what the catalytic converter is doing. So it's bringing that voltage below 0 0.5 again so it was at rich it looks like it, it looks like it's doing its job I, wa I was at 0 0.8 now we're down to 0 0.135 I don't know if you can see that so this vehicle is doing what it's supposed to do of course I have no check engine light on so the catalytic converter was indeed bad in this vehicle I hope you like this video if you enjoyed it give it a like subscribe and share it if you think it's going to help somebody else. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.